Hey guys, I'm Sherry Criswell, independent designer for Chalk Couture. And today I'm making a birdhouse, a vintage birdhouse. I'm getting the transfer out called Vintage Birdhouse. And it's a two layered um, transfer. And I'm just gonna take the first one, take the backer sheet off. And it, since it is a new transfer, it is really sticky. So I am just fuzzing it, which just takes some of the stickiness off. Placing it on the surface and making sure there's no air bubbles, smoothing it all out. And then the first layer, I'm gonna use grayish, which the name kind of says itself. It's a combination of grayish, of beige and gray. So you use a squeegee, put it on and take off the excess. Now here on the transfer, you can see where they have distressed right in the transfer, those little turquoise dots. Now I'm gonna do some things on paper. I'm using watercolor paper and I'm waxing that because I don't want the sticky transfer to pull the paper up with it. So um, this helps a lot. Also, I am fuzzing again the transfer. So the two together should make it pretty easy to use our transfers on paper. And now I'm using two colors. I use Meadow and Presto. Pesto. All right, and now I'm going to do the birds. And I'm going to do the same process with fuzzing them. I'm going to do two colors. I chose Blue Jay, which is the darker one and Ocean Mist is the ones on the belly. Now the first one, I just used um, the squeegee, just squeegeed it all on. On the second one, I um, started with the squeegees, but then I used my finger in a circular motion to blend the two colors together. It just gives a little different effect. and then later cut them out with the scissors. Okay, after fuzzing the first transfer, I'll put the second one on. And after I get it placed, they do have registration marks, but I always forget to use them. But you certainly can, it helps placing it. But you can see through the transfer, and that helps a lot. So I'm using Storm, which is a, a darker gray color for the second one. Pretty cool, right? Ta-da! I love how it's such a crisp and nice design. All right, have I told you how much I like the Aiden chalkboard? It's awesome. It chalks so nice and it's magnetic, which I love. These, I have two of these and it's just nine by 12. And I'm always changing them up. So I wanted to make sure that when I was done with this one and wanted to try a new design, that I could take everything off. So I put all the Spanish moss in the leaves on a strip of paper and put a magnet on the back. And here it is, all done. I love it. Birds and pedants and all. Yeah, I like this. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.